So how do you like this, guys? Did you all hear all the guys? Now you, we don't worry about prostate cancer anymore because oh, one yeah. of the tests are worth the shit, so you just die right. instead, and then they know that you had it. <laughs> oh, man. I remember when I sent you that link, and I remember what happened to you last year. Retrospective years ago. studies. Uh, I mean, Mr. Green, 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 most most of the men with okay. prostate wow. cancer die of something else first. Yes, because it's slow growing. Right. Yeah. Uh, slow unless it's not. It's just like the penis. Uh, <laughs> after, after a certain <laughs> point, yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey, Sorry. Sorry. Hey, Jules, how are you, how are you sweetie? Xanthi, your seat is ready right up here. I've saved your seat, so you don't have to worry. It's right here. I think the Christian Red All right, right. there you are, Xanthi. Look how beautiful dress you have you. on, Xanthi. That's just fabulous. Wow. Yep. Hey, Eric. I saw you were there before. Yeah. Sinov, how are you? Wow. Look at around the room. We got some group of people tonight. And little do you know, <clears throat> tonight... Not only do we have Bubble Pop, Doc, and Catboy doing a little something tonight here and maybe doing something as well on Thursday if they show up and they get paid this time, <laughs> each of them will receive, yes, they're going to get each get one Linden dollar with Philip's face on it. It's an original 2003 <laughs> series, Linden dollar. Ah. Collecting <laughs> 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 for framing or wrapping fish. Yep. I'll take yep. Fish. Across, across the top, it says in lag we trust. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, look, it's pyramid, buddy. It's my luck, I'll lose it. Yeah. Hello, Is ladies. A pyramid in the back. Hey, it's just a blur, just like second. It's line. next week. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> Pearly, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Whoa! Okay, you birthday. bitches are crazy. <laughs> is 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 got a first life birthday right now? Okay. No, it's next week, you crazy it Next ladies. week. They all told next you Tuesday. Tuesday. All right, that's it. That's cool. I give up. Back. Okay, I give up. It wouldn't be you guys <laughs> other way. I, I don't know if it was Orchid or Haley started the whole thing. It was your birthday. It was me. It was, it was, it was me. Orchid. I played them. They were half listening as usual. Never mind. For those of you who were thinking you were going to be on Social Security this year, make sure Haley, uh, make sure Orchid is not the one filling in your papers. Okay? Oh God. Oh. <laughs> I love oh, it. Right. We are ready to rock and roll. This is it. All right, guys. Welcome. Yeah, welcome. And Gio, you got things to rock and roll. And this is actually on live stream right now. It's being played at your mother's house. All of our bridge partners are watching this. Yeah, right. God. Yep. Yeah. I'll tell you. They play this in the hospices because lag doesn't bother anybody there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, yeah, you know, you can think about it. Maybe it's in real time for them. <laughs> no, I, I don't it. see any lag. All right, for those What's of you who are do? not Intros. using uh, an updated viewer with mesh enabled, I probably look like a naked woman with a deep voice. Uh, with the right viewer, I'm still naked, but my pitch is much higher. Me too, Haley. Yeah, I got to tell you, I'm trying to get ready for mesh. I really am. That's why I wore all this stuff, you know. I went for a prim suction, you know, just so I could fit this crap. Hmm. I don't think your voice is all that low, but... Guys, I, I really feel sorry for you because now with Mesh, when you came up our skirt, what a disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's the black hole. All right. No, no I didn't say that. All right. Now. <laughs> can, can, can you imagine the new Mesh Excite penises? That's got to be something, right? <laughs> what, do you have to be fitted for it? <laughs> <laughs> and it's got to be really, really terrible. You know, can you imagine you go to get a new mesh excite penis and you find out that you're really just a small? <laughs> Standard sizing. <laughs> All right, that's got to be a disappointment. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're only a four pound <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, there's a lot of talk in first life about gay marriages. How many of you have heard about that, right? And they make such a big deal about it, you know? 
Wait till they find out we've had been marrying furries in Second Life for nearly seven years. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Most, most of the furries are gone now. By the way, apparently the last of them were used at the Winter Fur Festival. No, oh, <laughs> no. That, oh, I know, I know. Come on out. <laughs> yeah, I'm amazed at how much money the banks are losing. You know, JPM, JP Morgan said they lost two plus billion. The government are losing trillions. I lose one thing and I get worried about it. <laughs> they lose trillions and it's no big fucking deal. I mean, what's that about? <laughs> I can't find my keys and it's a big deal. They can't find a trillion. <laughs> you gotta love these guys, right? Yeah, and look behind me. You can look around at Facebook. I like the little thing that I'm standing on. It says Facebook. Facebook study. Anyhow, but, <laughs> but I like Facebook came public for over 100 billion. Where do they find that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, it, you know, if the Greeks are really broke, they should just, you know, do a Greek book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yep. And the 2012 Summer Olympics. Yep, they're starting off in London this year. It's going to be really great. Yeah. They couldn't afford to put turnstiles in. They couldn't afford to print the tickets. They couldn't even afford to have the show. <laughs> <laughs> Just a whole bunch of athletes standing on an open lot. Don't you love it? <laughs> I got. Ooh, I got my tweet on, and it's tweeting also. I got to get rid of that. Yeah, yeah. And things I don't get in Second Life. How many of you have wondered about this? All right. Anybody here in Second Life ever go to a magic show and go, "Wow, that was amazing." I mean, why are people magicians in Second Life? Like, let me, I can make that chair disappear. Well, wow, that's incredible. <laughs> Look at this. I saw the girl, I saw her in half. Oh, oh that's absolutely amazing. God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then I just saw, didn't this Chinese dissident arrive in New York the other day, right? He and his whole family? Yeah, that's what New York needs, another dissident. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're going to change the Statue of Liberty. Bring me your anarchists, your dissidents. Just don't bring me any normal people, okay? Because that's going to be too confusing. All right. <laughs> oh, what do we got up here? All right, crowns. All right, I will. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. All right, who else is up there? Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. Dove's in here, too. That's great. All right. Hey, Dove, sweetie. Yep. So we got a, a bunch of stuff for you tonight. We have no music, so you can go home early tonight and have dinner. Uh, <laughs> hey. oh, yeah. Or the show can last longer yeah. than the hour. That's right. It could, but it won't. <laughs> <laughs> or it probably will, but we'll leave. Yeah. So here's some things under the help in Second Life that always have me confused. You know, stuff like this. You know, like the abuse report, right? Yeah, click on that. You know what you get for an answer? How to mute them or press the F1 key. <laughs> I got to tell you, the first time they said press F1, I thought that meant a fighter jet was going to take the person out, but I was wrong. <laughs> you know, I didn't really understand. Hey, hippie, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah. And then under basic controls, there's a help guide on how to hold your bladder. <laughs> while you play Second Life. Linda <laughs> yeah. 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 diapers. I mean, you really can't be out <laughs> dancing like in Second Life. You're dancing, and you have this great dance partner, and everything's going well. You say, excuse me, that's OP. You can't do that, right? <laughs> and now with these wireless mics up, we don't even know what the people are doing or what room they're in. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm in my closet. I'm not coming out. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, I'll tell you something. You know, I like when you get a message and it says, you know, access is not available. <laughs> Especially during sex, no. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, it was fun, right? 
Yeah, shopping at the marketplace. Isn't that unbelievable? Seems the only thing that Linden Labs doesn't break is shopping at the marketplace. They'll take your money. They won't deliver anything. No but, uh, <laughs> oh, God, I got time. All right. All right, I got to just tell them to come by. The witchy might sing it. Sing. Okay, she may sing. A bunch of people may sing. So we'll see what happens just for fun, okay? Yeah, yeah, let's all sing. Yeah, don't you love girls who wear mesh? Yeah, right. <laughs> I pixelated myself. Yeah, right. Hey, you wear mesh all the time, Pearly, don't you? Yeah, yeah it's my new yeah. thing. How many? <laughs> how much workout did you have to do to get rid of the extra, you know, stuff on the hips? I unbelievable. <laughs> I'm gonna set up a, to make a, a new mesh template for me. club in Second Life. You know, you come in, you work out. <laughs> And you know what we really was terrible? It was, t I, I, I understood when I would put the top on and it turned out that that was a small. But I really didn't like when I put the bottom on and it said I needed a medium. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, somebody got a TV on in the background? We all hate mesh. That's wonderful. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Have you noticed that? Everybody's yeah. making nasty mesh comments. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine you're talking about a mesh viewer? They think they're having sex with a walnut. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, the problems of first life that you think at times, you know, like coming home hot and horny with your mate, and instead of being able to detach all, you have to pie chart off your blouse, your skirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your Spanx. <laughs> yeah, that's great, yeah. <clears throat> How about when he's asleep and he's snoring? You know, don't you wish you could just click preferences and turn off sounds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. How about the eject button? <laughs> Wouldn't that be good? <laughs> Once in a while, you know. Oh, sorry, I don't know what happened to you. <laughs> you know, I walked in Walmart last week in First Life. I thought I'd gone into a freebie sim. <laughs> yeah. I saw this guy sitting at the airport slouching in First Life. I looked at him, I said, turn your AO on. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, very good. I like that. <laughs> the whole drum. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. I think a marriage license should come with a renewal date. <laughs> <laughs> and a vision yeah. test. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> I, I want you to know, I had to fill out a job application at First Life. It asked for references. All of you have been listed. That's all names, Yeah, can you imagine that? Uh, yeah, uh, get in touch with Catboy. <laughs> I'm showing up dressed like this. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Hey, I hope everybody's having a good time. Hey, Saib Siba, how are you doing? Everybody doing well? Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff going on here tonight, I'll tell you. Yep. <clears throat> Did you know that everyone in the United States is on an antidepressant and it's not working? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, my Abby has PT PSTD, yeah, post Second Life tantrum disorder. <laughs> what what is that thing that's being res there? What is that Frankfurter going on? Is that the uh, indicator of something? What is that? It's on the floor. Indicator. Well, I leave that up to the people who are in charge. Yeah. Try to build. Yeah. Purple thing. No, it's right on the floor. No, oh, it's an orange, orange beam of light. Something. I don't know what that is. We can yeah. send it back, uh -huh. I guess. Let's send it back to whoever it belongs to. Return. I can't return it. doesn't... Oh, yeah, I can return it. Good, but <laughs> it says, okay. 
Ooh. So if we could do this, this is your life. first life uh, X. All right, back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be the SM with my girlfriend. Yeah, she tied me up and left. Uh, <laughs> 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 All right, let's bring out right away, right first. And you know what we're going to bring out first? I think if if uh, the skullduggery of uh, the angel of death. Crap Mariner wants to get up here first. Uh, do you want to get up here first, uh, Crap? Are you still here? Or, uh, oh, crap. That's a good thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, Don't you, tell you, me you, what you you're telling you. your girlfriend there. Hold yeah. on. <laughs> no, that's what I told your girlfriend. Okay, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just trying to figure out what you got to watch out. Here, here he comes. Yeah. All right, let's give a big hand. Yeah, uh, don't, don't. <laughs> Not too much, otherwise he'll de-lift-friend you, you know. <laughs> That's all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me just get the sign here. This isn't as much comedy. Uh, God forbid any of that happen here. Okay, hold on. Let me get. There's a sign behind us about the Facebook, but I'm going to put another sign up there. for. You can click on it to get information about SL9B. Uh, here to tell you about the Second Life ninth birthday, or is... The kids call it SL9B. At the last minute, the Linden said screw you to the community and took away the Sims for the resident celebrations and said buy a bunch of land from us to hold your own events. And everybody <laughs> bitched. So the organizers went to uh, look around and uh, Dream Seeker Estates. Everybody applaud. Dream Seeker. Woo! Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, they they yeah, stepped yeah. up. They offered up ten sims, and then somebody offered up another six, and then four, and that makes for twenty sims. I, I counted them twice. I hope they don't get any more sims, because to count any higher, I may have to lift up my robe. So, uh, <laughs> to, pull all the, to pull all this off, no, that's not a point. We're looking for volunteers, builders, exhibits, exhibitors to build exhibits, uh, security thugs, and musical performers and DJs, uh, the applications for those volunteers are at the website if you click on the sign behind me. And uh, the Sims won't be open for a while. They're, it's a real rush job because the Linden's way to the last minute. And uh, need comedians? Hell, this place needs sure. comedians. And uh, of course. <laughs> and uh, to, the problem is... Uh, they're running on a tight schedule. They just got the roads down. They got everything parceled. I was just there. Uh, the builds are 234 prims, 32 <laughs> meters by 32 meters. So you can just create a 32 by 32 meter cube, lay it on the ground, build on top of that, and then build your build there, and then take it all back into inventory. When the sim's open, drop your build into place. There you go, real quick. If you don't know how to make a 32 by 32 meter cube, you really shouldn't be building. Shouldn't be building, yeah. <laughs> Actually, you're probably Warren. So, uh, oh, yeah, I know, I know. You build cubes all the time. It's it's deleting them that's the problem. By the way, another thing, a new, th a new thing this year, you know, they won't allow nipples. It's hip to be square. But just for you, Haley, Mesh is allowed. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So if you have any questions, you'll go to uh, this website. If you click on there, if you don't know how to click, you're probably a Linden. Um, <laughs> but anyway, that's where you can get all the information. And this is the email you write if you have any questions, like why the hell is the Angel of Death talking about you? And how the hell did you let Crap Mariner be a part of this? So I'm, I'm going to be posting... I'm going to be posting travel videos and all sorts of stuff like that that nobody put ever watches. Up. Put your YouTube and up. Put my YouTube. Damn, yeah, must give a link to YouTube. Hey, Babin. Uh, hold on, hey, Yo, hold yeah, put up your YouTube, man. God, I have to plug my own crap. Hold on, let me bring this up. <laughs> oh, Angel right. If you can't bring up a 32 by 32 YouTube. You should there you go. It. There's my 32 by. <laughs> I can sure bring up a 2 by 4, Missy. All right. So that's uh, that's my uh, shameless plug for the day. And, two inches by uh, four inches. There'll be lots of celebrations. <laughs> Lauren will be doing comedy or something. In a, there'll be comedy. There'll All be music. Right. There'll be celebration. There'll be builds. And there'll be lots and lots of lag. So there's no lag here tonight yeah that's because we're collecting it all up for us on mind okay. so there you go okay, and okay. thank Bravo. you very much everybody please yeah. 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 And, and please go. we do need to be
I'll be oh, seeing some of you later. Comedians, <laughs> can't expect the I just Lindenies remember to do since it all. this is the SL9B, it's a comedians. pedophile event. Uh, <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> Listen to the. Remember, the kids, these are trained right professionals. Page, Don't try these jokes at home. Who was that? Who was that? <laughs> I said, remember, these are professionals. Don't try these jokes at home. Back to you, Laura. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm hearing so radio. Much myth. Like, myth, are you, you going to do something today? Are you, do you want to do a little comedy today, too? Am I supposed to list you as well? Because I got a bunch uh, of people I'm bringing you up, too, after. Just get something ready. Not going to bring you up yet. Just get something ready. A couple minutes. You know? Don't okay. worry. We're going to get everybody up here. Anyhow, and so to the my stage left, your stage right. If you click on that, you can come to Thursday's show at No Bricks. It's a big event, so uh, please come and bring lag with you, okay? I'll tell you one. I need a new button in Second Life. I don't know how many of you need this. It's called, but I have a name for it, and somebody's got to come up with it. Auto appeal, you know? Like you click that button, and you're immediately like everybody just finds you so appealing, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, I went into God mode the other day. Guess what? You know the difference between God mode and our mode? In God mode, you get a lot of fucking questions. That's all you get. People asking for help. Can you help me? Can you help me? Can you help me? I don't know where my keys are. I don't know where they are. It's unbelievable. Give me money. <laughs> yeah. I got to tell you something. This is really... I, I, how many of you girls have a 10, 10 by 10x mirror at home? Any of you girls have that for makeup and stuff? Right? Hell no. <laughs> no? No? Jules? <laughs> Anybody? Yeah? Right? Okay, Bevan, right? Well, I do. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so when you, when you look at that mirror, I was looking at a mirror the other day, and I said, I got a rebake. <laughs> I have a mirror that just wants you to rebake. <laughs> Control all R. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, the smartphone put new meaning in being a blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when this guy set up in Second Life a business where you could order a pizza with Linden's and it would come to you in First Life? Do you remember that? Oh, wow. Do you remember yep. that? I'm still waiting for my fucking pizza. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 30 years or less. Yeah, right. 30 years or less, right. Yeah. Wow. Oh, very nice. How about undateable in Second Life? Here are the These are phrases that guys say that this just makes you undateable. Things like, Hi, I love sex. You look hot, right? I mean, that's really I mean, you that, right? Right? Don't you love that? Yeah. This is another one. This is a definite killer, guys. Don't say and turn to us and go. My wife doesn't understand me, because if she doesn't understand you, we don't want you. <laughs> you know. Or, yeah, this is another killer, guys. You want to get a date? This is undateable. Do not be wearing library shoes when you want to go out with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and here are some of the ones that guys say that they don't want us girls to, you know, this makes us undateable. You know, if they go out with us and we tell them we have a preg shape. <laughs> yeah. Or if we happen to know the name of the prim baby that we want to have <laughs> on the first date. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and this is a third one, I'm told. This is really a deal killer for guys to go out with a girl and she has too many gestures. <laughs> yeah. You know, I liked one of these, uh, you know, they have, have this like Second Life for Dummies book. They really do. And how to make a living in Second Life. So I was going through it. It says, with a lot of ima imagination, hard work, and time, it's very possible to make a living in Second Life. Also, you can become an escort. <laughs> 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 yeah, I love it. Yeah. So, uh, well, just a minute, we'll bring up another comedian. We've got, we've got, oh, we've got a bunch of comedians still to come up, and Myth is working on stuff. Bubble Pop, Doc, and Catboy, and, uh, and so we've got four people, so I better bring somebody up right about now. Let's bring Doc up. Come on, Doc, can you get up here? Let's see if I can stand up this week. Mm -hmm. yeah, by the way, this break while Doc is getting up here is brought to you by Tiny Empires. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. 
Once again, I am going to need the whole stage here, Lauren, because I'm going to practice and act for our show on Thursday. Okay. And um, I'm lazy, so I pull one out of mothballs. I, uh, there's some new people here tonight, so um, I'm going to talk about something that's really, really big in, in Second Life, and that's breedable pets, prim pets, okay? You got, um, you got uh, amarettos, you got rabbits, you got... Zwickies, anything you can think of, okay? And, you know, everybody's looking to, to outdo the others, more features, uh, more varieties, and, and more money to keep them alive and healthy. Well, I decided I'm going to jump into the breedable pet arena, okay? And I've got my own line of breedable pets, which uh, are doing rather well, and I'm going to introduce them to you tonight for those people of you who haven't seen them. I call my breedables the blockies, okay? And I'm going to bring out a blocky here for you right now if the res gods are good. There's my pet blocky right here, okay? <laughs> now, blockies, uh, because depending on the size that you've got uh, of, your, of, your, of your homestead or your land, the blockies come in... Um, three sizes, okay? Small, like you see here, um, or medium, okay? Or large, okay? So there is a blocky that is uh, good for you for any size homestead that you've got. And we'll take this guy and we'll put him away. Now, I have a, um, a special pet that I have uh, been working on quite a bit. And I'm gonna bring him out and show him to you. And where is he? He's hiding in my inventory here somewhere. Uh, let's see. Here he is. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Meshi. This is Meshi, okay? He is my personal <laughs> he is my personal pet blocky and um uh, he's, he's, he's happy to see me, okay? So whenever I come oh, home, I first tell. thing he does is come over and make sure it's me. Yes, okay. Hi, Blocky. Hi, hi Messi. How are you? Down boy. Down boy. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, <laughs> you can teach your, you can teach your Blocky tricks. And I've taught Meshi quite a few tricks. Uh, and I'm going to show them to you tonight here, folks. Um, uh, Meshi, would you please, uh, jump boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Meshi. Okay. Meshi, um, uh, do a backflip for the folks, please, okay? Good boy, Meshi. There we go. Okay. Good boy. Now, Meshi, Meshi, uh, this is a tricky one. Roll over, please. Good boy. That's a good boy, Meshi. Okay. Now, um, as you can see, it's, uh, um, um, yeah, I just forgot what the hell I was going to say. Okay. Uh, um, Meshi here is a result of, of a lot of careful breeding because, you know, you always try to get the better traits and, and different generations. And as you can see, the texture and quality here is, is very unique, okay? And I'm very proud of what I've got here so far. So we're going to take Meshi and we're going to put him away. And I'm going to show you how we got to that particular texture that we're out right now. So I'm going to bring out Meshi's parents, okay? Here is... Meshi's mom, as soon as she decides to show up, and there she is, there's Prissy, and we're going to bring out, we're going to bring out Meshi's daddy, and there he is right there, that is DJ Nasty Dog, okay, now, as you can see, uh, it takes a lot of inbreeding, or, or rather breeding, to get just the right texture and color that I have here, and, um, the meshies are bred live, okay? Uh, you know, uh, some of them have, have uh, it tells you how pregnant they are, and I think, I think we are at the point of having a live birth here. So this, I'm very excited about this. So here we go. There we go. Okay, there is a baby oh meshie God. right there. Isn't that cute, okay? Now, oh look. Look, it's a special edition. <laughs> Look, it, it's a special edition. Let's call him Checkers, <laughs> okay? Oh, oh, great. That's a collector's boy, okay? All right, now. Sell it on eBay. Sell it on eBay, okay. Now, uh, and we'll take Mommy away here, and we'll take Little Boy away here. Now, breeding your man.
meshes, or breeding your blockies rather, is, is very simple. You just link the male and the female together, turn down the lights, put on some very white music, and in about six hours, you've got a pregnant female who wakes up alone with cab fare to get home, okay? Six now, hours. Um, for those of you who That's like right, baby. pets, um, I know I'm glad, oh, we've got some, some horses in our backyard and some other things. The, the stuff that I hate is that, that shit over their heads that says how, how hungry they are, how happy they are, how thirsty they are, and, and how pregnant the females are. And I really get tired of it. I'm a visual kind of person, okay? So I believe in, in showing that if it's pregnant, that show it's pregnant. So I'm going to show you a first trimester pregnant blocky. There we are right there, folks. Okay, there's the first trimester of pregnant blocky. Okay. And here is here's the second trimester. Okay, there we go. And here, like Tindalia, is a full term blocky right there, okay? <laughs> Dolly is giving a hurt. <laughs> now, caring for your blockies is, is very, very easy, okay? They don't eat. You never have to update them. You don't have, to, you don't need viewer three or mesh to see them, and they never die, as long as you pay me 900 lemons a month. Okay. <laughs> now I've started selling, I've started selling franchises, and uh, I'm very pleased to say that we're uh, we're going to have an IPO here. Um, Next week on NASDAQ, we're expecting the shares to go for 38 lumens apiece at the opening bell. So everybody here is going to want to get in on that. And you can have one of the hottest pets on the market, the Blockies. And that's my thing for tonight, folks. Thanks very much. Whoa, we love it. Wow, the Blockies. Yeah, don't you love that? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't it. want a pregnant one, but reserve me another one. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe you could get a, a, a surrogate. <laughs> <laughs> Group build. <laughs> surrogate lucky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, and then there's Tiny Empires, the game that so many people play. And so many more people don't anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the game where dead acres will make you new friends. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> don't you love it? Yeah. <laughs> somebody says, "Yeah, no, come on, you play. I'll buy you a HUD." You put it on. You collect acres that take months to work your way up from a chambermaid to a whore. <laughs> collecting acres. <laughs> <laughs> pretty bad when you have to work up to the <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. With, with, a, with a little thing that pops up on the top left of your screen, right? And that little attachment up there at HUD, and it says things like this. If a goose lays an egg every day and eggs sell for four gold, how many omelets could you get out of five pieces if the emperor's top collector doesn't come and ruin the party? <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Or Eliza leaves her house and walks four blocks north, four blocks south, four blocks east, and four blocks west. I tell her, get a fucking iPhone and use GPS. Then you'll know where you are. <laughs> Don't you love that? That's like that. Do you remember when you were in school? I mean, that was the thing, you know. You know, if you swim across the river and the river's current was six miles an hour in this direction and you could swim at three miles an hour where would you be i used to always answer that at the bottom of the river drowned or dead <laughs> i never like that as an answer <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> so <laughs> so you think about it tiny empires what's the game really about <laughs> right you know Finding a bar, bringing golden eggs with you, drinking a bunch of booze, and playing dice. <laughs> I think it's an Irish game, Burley, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, most of the people would have stayed in Ireland, Burley, if you guys had invented Monopoly for them. <laughs> Are you saying we're easy to please? No. <laughs> Yeah, I have a friend, you know, 
recording session. He joined AA in Second Life. I asked him how it was. He said, it's great. I can drink and go to the meetings. <laughs> <laughs> I got to love it. All right. <laughs> and next up here, next up, let's see if, uh, oh, yeah, okay. How about you, Bubble Pop? You ready to come yeah. here and give Let us a Yeah, let me hop on down. Yeah, Gosh, I hope I don't land on anyone. Yeah. <laughs> I can only yeah. get a spot in the rafters. Okay. Yeah, land, 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 land the Marvin Gardens. Yeah. By a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> the game yeah. before Second Life. <laughs> okay. I don't have any shoes on. I didn't think anyone would notice. If I had shoes on or not, except for about 20 women went, oh my god, you don't have shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, school's almost out, isn't it? All the kids getting ready for finals. Uh, I remember when, uh, what, maybe other people were like this. Do you remember, uh, were you ever like... When you're a little kid, you couldn't wait to finally go to school. Yeah, I'm at school. Yeah. I get to go yeah. to school. And then after a certain point, school sucks. How much longer <laughs> do I have to go to school? Until you owe a million at least... dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> 16 years to life? Oh, yeah. I should have never went to school. School's changed, though, since I was a kid. Now they're having sex in school. And it's getting so out of hand. I heard there was a middle school where kids were recently busted for shooting a porn video during recess. My God. And the teacher didn't know? Well, until the teacher, I guess, counted heads and were a few short. When looking for them, where could they be? Could they be in the classroom? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> So much for the AV guy being the nerd, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things. In California, I don't know if anyone's from California, there's uh, porn videos that they made a law, Congress passed a law there that you must wear condoms while making porn videos. Oh, wow, no Calif video. California, what's going on? You're. you're Billions of dollars in debt. You got electrical problems with these blackouts and brownouts. Police beating and killing citizens on video. And and you're in Congress debating whether you should have condoms in. Po Are you high? Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> there's a recent talk about sex. There's a recent uh, study uh, that came out that says redheads have more sex. Than any other people. I know a lot of redheads. Yeah, but apparently the study was conducted while I was sleeping. <laughs> uh, right, ready for? I have a bunch of my favorite quotes of the week. If you're all ready. Yeah. Ready for favorite quotes of the week? These are some pretty good ones. So you might fall out of your chair. Okay. <laughs> Start the first one with Penn Gillette from uh, Penn and Teller. Penn, the big guy, he was talking about how glorious it was, like Bob Dylan to hop trains and live off the land and how romantic that was. Well, it's all a big lie. That's not how it goes. Penn Teller says, I left home, backpack across the country, hopped on a train to Chicago. But the train went north. Past Montreal. <laughs> when the train finally slowed down enough where I could hop off of it and walk to the highway, figure out where I was, I saw a sign that said Sorte. So I looked on my map all night long looking for the city of Sorte. <laughs> if I would have known just a little bit of French, I would have known it was exit. <laughs> Right, the French guy got it, obviously. <laughs> I've had days like that. Uh, oh, um, Arsenio Hall, who just won Celebrity Apprentice, was quoted, When I was a kid, I wanted to grow up and be an astronaut. When I got older, however, I realized I didn't want to be a black astronaut that always had to say, Yes, NASA. 
No one may ask that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> On the border. Oh, God. That it's was fun. brilliant. <laughs> Comedian Todd Berry. You know those book lights? Those lights that attach to your book? I was going to buy one of those, but then I remembered I already own a lamp. <laughs> Okay, you ready for something really crazy? Who knows uh, celebrity chef Anthony Bourdain? Oh, how Travis boring is he? Us. God almighty, he's beyond <laughs> boring. Bourdain, nice. bore me. Right. Well, he wasn't boring the other day. Uh, he had some rather practical thoughts on the subject of cannibalism. An audience member posed <laughs> a, a bizarre hypothetical situation if he and Bourdain were trapped in a cave would Bourdain eat him heck yeah Bourdain says without hesitation he added if the guy were trapped on a boat with a bunch of his chef friends and this one guy wasn't pulling his weight around you'd have no problem cooking him at a slow braise yes uh, Bourdain was asked straight up if he would eat a human. Heck yeah, I certainly would, but it wouldn't be my first option, though. I'd eat a bit bag of Doritos first. Gets <laughs> better. Perhaps the strangest and cutest part of the session was a little girl asked Bourdain, Would you cook a unicorn? <laughs> Anthony Bourdain said he would roast the loin, grill the legs, braise the forequarter, and use the horn to pick my teeth with after the meal. Friendship is magic. Oh goodness. Last one, my favorite, Betty White. She just never gets me to stop laughing. When Betty White was recently asked, Gosh, you've done so much in your life, Betty. Is there anything else left that you want to do? She says, Yes, Robert Redford. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. I was good oh, wow. oh, there you there you go. Go. Good job. Fantastic. That's the way to go. By the way, afterwards, we also have a special treat. We have a couple of extra treats. <laughs> Believe it or not, Nope is going to do, uh, not yet, not yet, don't get up, but going to do some funny, couple funny songs, and actually, Witchy's in the house, and she's going to sing, so we have somebody who's going to oh, sing, yeah. she's only going to put Sweet. out a tip jar, so you're going to have to tip her, you know, along the way, because we didn't pay her, but that's not for a while, we still have plenty of time, and then she's, she's got in there, and, and by the way, Witchy, you're all up in the uh, stream, so that'll be working, yeah. So I was reading about somebody's uh, second life partner's divorce, right? I mean, it's pretty sad if you want to departner somebody and you don't have enough Lindens. <laughs> 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 Can you imagine somebody IMing you? Can you lend me 25 Lindens? Why? I want to departner. <laughs> no, it's 10 Lindens. Thank you, Julie. I don't even know how much it was. <laughs> Yeah, here's one. Here's one of these little departnering things that I, a message that went out one day to everybody. It said, "So I've been partnered with someone for a few months, and it's gradually fallen apart. They never sign on anymore. Like that should be a freaking message, okay? If they're not on anymore, it's not gradually falling apart. It's over." <laughs> I do care about this person uh, quite a bit, and really don't want to lose a friendship. Although I'm prepared for the fact that it might not be able to be saved. They're not on anymore, okay? Get over her. It's over, okay? <laughs> Being that this is the first time I've ever had this type of experience, virtual divorce, I could use a bit of advice. She's not on anymore. Get over it. <laughs> what type of experience have you had with this? Not the one you're having. <laughs> <laughs> Any advice on how to handle this tactfully? How do you need to handle it tactfully? She's not on. Just tell yourself, <laughs> get over it. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> so the person who gave advice said, oh, sweetie, you're talking to someone who had a first life marriage with a horse. <laughs> 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 a little 
Uncle Wilbur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we met the same morning. <laughs> we were partnered in the afternoon and divorced the following day. There you go. <laughs> My second life marriage. <laughs> right. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, I just imagine some people in second life, you know, they get departed and then they have to go to first life to a psychiatrist or a psychologist <laughs> and they're there and what's wrong? Oh, I just went through the worst relation. Oh, really? What happened? Yeah. Oh, what does she look like? A cartoon figure. Guys, get <laughs> over it. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what's longer than a Kim than a Kim Kardashian marriage? A second life <laughs> partnership. <laughs> yeah. A friend of mine went on a dating site, found a guy who she said, "Oh, and and ever, she's not here tonight. It's too bad." She got She said she met this guy in first life on a dating service like Match.com or something, and she went out with him, and she said he was everything she'd asked for. A few weeks later, I ran into her, and she said they'd broken up, and I said, why? She said she probably hadn't asked for enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you think the Israelis have control T? <laughs> All right, next up here, next up, okay. <laughs> cat boy, you ready to come up here? Yeah, yeah. All right? Going to be a uh, good cat boy? Come on up here and make us laugh. All right, come on up and make us laugh. Oh, boy, I got a bunch of stuff. Up, 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 up. Up, up, up. <laughs> what, do you have to tell yourself as a cat? Up, up, up? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Hey, everybody. How do you like my outfit? Everyone like the way I'm dressed? There is a reason why I'm dressed like this. Happy Goth Day, everyone! Wow. Today's World Goth Day. Oh, and I can see you're all reacting properly, as goth people should. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? I'm going to try a little audience participation. What we're going to do is... I'm going to say, you know, the, give the greeting, happy God day, and what you're going to do is, you're all going to grow up, mope, and groan, and mope like a bunch of unhappy teenagers. <laughs> Can you do that? Just go, yeah. Oh. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Okay, get, yeah, okay, okay, here we go. No. Here we go. Uh, happy uh, World God Day, everybody! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, there was no reason to do that. I just wanted to know what a whole room full of people doing that would sound like. <laughs> <laughs> You got us to do it. Yeah. <laughs> that, was, you got us. that was pretty yeah. awful. Anyway, oh, beautiful spring day, gorgeous summer day, and uh, it's it's goth day. This is actually this is a real thing. This actually is a real thing. I found out on Twitter, and it's just like, why the heck did they make it like the end of May, where it's going to be like sunny and shining, and God knows it's hot outside. Yeah, the first thing I want to do is dress up in black from head to toe, and the, you know, and rock out the Marilyn Mu <laughs> Marilyn Manson music all day long. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, but you know what? Yeah. Ironically, ironically, I did see several hundred people today dressed in head to toe in black suffering through an ancient ritual today graduation <laughs> huh? graduation why the hell are those robes in black no they're just not thinking and another thing oh um I understand that uh, some people, they get goth and emo confused because you're talking about all, everyone being grumpy and everything and everyone's saying, oh, that's emo. And I said, well, I understand why goth and emo get confused. There's a lot of things that are very similar. But goth from emo, and that is goth people like real vampires. They like Gary Oldman's Nosferatu, Christopher Lee, Bela Lugosi, that sort of thing, right? Emos are into the kind of vampires that sparkle like darling little Tinkerbells. <laughs> That's their favorite kind of vampires, you know. And a lot of people are saying, "Why are you, you know, why are you ripping on, um, oh, what is her name, uh, Stephanie Meyer? Stephanie Meyer, who created uh, the series of um, 
oh gosh, what is it? Breaking Dawn Twilight series. And everyone keeps saying like it's it's she's just like she's the new J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling took you know Harry Potter and turned it into something wonderful and magical. Well, let me tell you something. What she did, the lady who wrote Twilight series, Stephanie Meyer, is she took dra she took vampires and she utterly bastardized them. Right out of the, you know, they're not vampires at all. You know what I call them? Those are pixies with a blood fetish. <laughs> pixies. <laughs> That's what they are. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's somebody I want to talk about today, also in the news today. A Britain elected the most beautiful woman in all of Britain, and I got a picture of her in my inventory. Just let me uh, pull this thing out. Her name is Florence Colgate. And she was elected to be the most perfectly symmetrical woman in Britain or something like that. And here's a picture of her on the stage here. And what they wanted to do when they elected her was they said that this is the woman that's supposed to dispel all of the British myths that people have of, uh, you know, of, of British women. Like they're supposed to have crooked teeth and funny noses and whatnot. And look at this girl. With a name like Colgate, you would expect to have perfect teeth. And she does. So she has perfect poise, perfect disposition, perfect everything. <laughs> There's just one thing they should have, like, the, you know, they should have given her some vocal lessons before putting her up on, you know, in front of the cameras and interviewing people. Because, you know, when they're talking to her, it's like, Hello, my name's Eliza. Would you like to buy a pretty flower? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what part of her is resing, but it doesn't look like the part it's supposed to. <laughs> don't take it yet. I don't think it yet. I gotta be like, this is not. <laughs> uh, is wrong. Oh, look at that. What a tricky thing. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, when they were talking to her, when they were talking to her, I was saying, oh, God, someone call Rex Harrison. Rex Harrison, why can't the British learn how to speak? We need you. It's like the Roman spank and go shag it till the drain pipe for all I care. Oh my God! Also, in the news today, uh, from England, um, there was a lot of talk in Canada that uh, a lot of people they want the. Um, uh, when, uh, when Queen Elizabeth finally passes away, a lot of people are saying that the crown should pass over Prince Charles and go straight to William. Well, I just found out there's actually a really good reason for this, and that is we don't want Prince Charles being printed on our money. We already have the loony. We don't need the Dumbo dollar on top of everything else. <laughs> Also, in the news today, in the news, a uh, brand new rocket took off today. Uh, the Falcon 9 took off. Why is it whenever they come up with a new name for a rocket, it sounds like some really cheesy vacuum cleaner from an infomercial. <laughs> <or> it's like... <laughs> 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 or it's a muffler bracket from an old four pinto. It's like the XJ twenty seven. It will take you to Mars or it will keep your tail tight from dragging on the street when you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, whenever they come up with a name for a brand new rocket, they never should give it a number higher than one because calling it the Falcon Nine <laughs> that only makes people think that you've had eight failures on your way up to this one. I mean if some of the sitting on that thing. So this is called the number what? Okay, let's hope nine's a lucky number. And I'm, you know, I'm really grateful that that rocket really had a successful takeoff today, because if not, I would have had to change my whole routine. I've just sat there going, make it, make it, please. I don't have time for a rewrite. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay. not over yet. Please. Yeah. Because seriously, if you don't want, uh, I'm all for privatizing rockets because if you don't want rockets to explode, they should be built by people who want to save money instead of people who are interested in wasting it. <laughs> you know, but I love rockets. I love rockets. Rockets have an awesome all or nothing personality yeah. because they either make it all. <laughs> no, they do. No, I love them. I love them because they either make it all the way to outer space or they blow up spectacularly all over the place. It's either all, you know, it's either. Perfect success or absolute failure. It's the Newt Gingrich campaign of technology. <laughs> you know, White House or screw all y'all. <laughs> you know, the rocket breaks down. It doesn't pull over to the side of the road and call for a tow. It's like, hello, this is not a star. 
It's come to the point where Houston, we have a problem is a catchphrase for finding yourself in the deepest trouble imaginable. But you know what it also should be? It also should be a catchphrase, a catchphrase for, I need the most awesome problem solvers in the universe. Because what did Houston do? When Apollo 13 ran into the worst trouble imaginable, they brought those guys home and they did it using duct tape and math. Those are the guys <laughs> I want in my corner. When everything goes wrong for me, it's like, Houston, we have a problem. What is it? Wife's caught me in bed with another woman. <clears throat> How much duct tape do you have? <laughs> uh, where are you going with this? And I have three rolls. No, not a problem. Not a problem. We can do this. We can do this. <laughs> Two days later, marriage is saved. The wife is happy. And I managed to build something out of duct tape that makes women insanely, deliriously happy. Like a Prada bag or Christian Lovato shoes or something. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's my skit for tonight. Thanks, y'all, for coming out. Oh, fantastic. That's great. What a great time. That's fantastic. All right. Now, let me tell you all uh, something about uh, what's going to happen next. We're going to have Milf come up and do a couple songs. Then Witchy's going to do some stuff. It's already plugged in. We don't have to be on time, Witchy or Milf or anybody, because there's nobody really timing us, okay? Our parents have all gone to bed. They don't even know we're up this late. <laughs> <laughs> right. I got a big yeah. pile of pop tarts. Don't need what? to sneak out of the house. I love something Haley once said to me. She said, I need two husbands. I said, why? So they can watch the game together. <laughs> 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 yeah. I've been around so long. I remember before the iPhone when it was just the I can't. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, so there's a little known tale of how God came to give the Jews the Ten Commandments. I want you all to know this is a lot of people a lot of people don't know this. All right. God first went to the Egyptians. I want you to know first. Asked them if they'd like a commandment. I said, what commandment? And God said, well, it's uh, like, thou shalt not commit adultery. The Egyptians thought about it and they said, no way, that would ruin our weekends. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so then God went to the Assyrians and asked them if they'd like a commandment. They also asked, uh, what's, what's a commandment? Well, said God, it's like, thou shalt not steal. The Assyrians immediately replied, no way, that would ruin our economy. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, God went to the Jews and asked them if they wanted a commandment. They asked how much. God said they're free. <laughs> Jews said, great, we'll take ten. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's cute, right? <laughs> come on up, Milt. Are you ready to come up on here? Myth, Milt. Why am I calling you Milt? No, Myth, Myth Reaver. Yes, no. I can't pronounce it. Mithri Weaver. <laughs> Mithril Weaver. Mithril Weaver. Okay. Weaver. You want to do it from here? You want to come up here? And, and we... ah, sure, I'll come up there when I. Ta-da. All right. Oh, look at you, hey, handsome guy. Wow. Did you go out with a girl like me? No, probably not if you have a brain. <laughs> well, if you free Willy, I'm out of here. That's just my general rule. Of that. But hey. <laughs> okay, it's all yours. I'm just so confused. And I would like to, of course, to thank Lauren. I, I never really know how an appropriate way to, to talk to Lauren is. But, you know, the thing is, is I certainly think at least the one joke about looking up the dress and seeing the black hole probably would be true in that, in his case. But, um, <laughs> yes, but unfortunately, you know, I mean, you, you know, the thing about Second Life is, is you never really know anybody, what they really look like or what they really sound like or anything like that. But the thing is, is let me tell you something. I'm actually this good looking, and I'm just not quite eight feet tall, actually. I'm nine, but it's, you know, with my shoes on, so.
It's kind of like, you know, it, it, you know these these expandable penises. You know, these are interesting. You know, I mean, it's like you know, you're with your girlfriend. It's just like, you know, it kind of reminds me of the first time I ever tried it. kind of reminds me of the movie to watch. Oh, yeah, you know, you guys all know what I'm talking about. You know, ever seen the movie, you know, Aliens, where all of a sudden you see this head coming out the of the top of her chest? Like, oh, my God. It's like an Evan Rude motor. And, of course, then again, you know, you can also link it. In. It's like, hey, baby, how's that feel? I uh, it's a little too long, okay? <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you very much. Anyway, but in that thing, and, and of course, I, I I think Lauren, he, he or she or whatever, you know, is is a pretty cool uh, whatever. <laughs> and I wrote this, and I wrote this song. <laughs> yes, I'm. The, yes, I'm the singing. Remember, kids, you know, don't try this at home. We're trained professionals. Well, at least you know, I, think you are. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> and occasionally I do, I do still shit on the floor, but, you know, we, we're trained for fairly well. Anyway. <laughs> but, you know, that's. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes. <clears throat> but anyway, I actually wrote a song in Lauren's honor, and I'd like to sing it to you now. They call, yes, Chris called me the singing comedian. <laughs> and of course, and for those of you who are like the Almond Brothers, the, no, the Almond Brothers, the Almond Brothers, Almond Brothers, they're all men because they're brothers, okay? Who gives a shit, you know? <laughs> it's just kind of like, I know they're not black, okay? You know, I mean, the thing is, is you know, it's like, how would you ever even know if somebody was black here in Second Life, you know? I mean, it's just like, say, man, you know, you sound like you're black. It's like, who is your daddy and what does he do? And like, oh, yes, who is your daddy? What does he do? Get over it, show me your dark side. Yeah, grab him, grab him right the bagels. Like you do, yes. No, no, anyway. All right, well, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, without any accompaniment, because well, hey, I'm just that good. I'm gonna do. We we'll call this. Uh, this is the course of song. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, that, that's well, millions of mi millions of women and at least 25 Elvis fans can't be wrong, can they? But anyway, this is this song. Of course, is called "I'm Really a Man." Uh, based off of the song "Ramblin' Man" by. The Almond Brothers, and yes, they were all white. So at least I'm pretty oh. sure they were. Yeah, it might have been albino, man. I tell you what, you know that, that kind of reminds me though. You know, if you if you have have an albino black guy, I mean, ladies, you have the best of both worlds. You know, you got somebody that your parents will like, and and you got you got a huge long. You know, I mean, you know, best of both worlds. But anyway, anyway, back on the ranch. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Well, I am a girl, but I'm really a man. Well, I'm not too feminine, but doing the best I can. Because when it comes time for peeing, I usually stand. Well, I am a girl, but I'm really a man. Well, I was a professor fellow down in Georgia. And I wound up on the wrong end of his gun. Was born for the backseat, but there's something to discuss. Cause rolling my way's not for everyone Cause I have a girl but I'm really a man Well I'm not too feminine but I'm doing the best I can Cause when it comes time to pee and I usually stand My have's a girl but I'm really a man now I'm on my way to buy a new dress for me this morning. And all the guys there are him and me. But before asking for a good time, better check my bio, Lord. Then you may not think so well of me. And I'm as a girl that I really a man. Well, I'm not too feminine, but doing the best I can. Cause when it comes time for peeing, I usually stand. Cause my hands are good, but I'm really a man. <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
Yeah, you do. You got enough time for me to do another one, or is that, uh, that it? Is that, is that all you can take there? And, and no, it's okay. This sentence is for life. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, we better spare somebody, okay? Yeah, right. Yeah, it's just like, how do you follow that? I don't know. Pro probably, you know, not with the, well, no. <laughs> not with a penis. Instead, keep it in your pants, man. I don't want to see it, man. Just tell me about it. I don't want to hear about it either, you know? That's just one of those kind of things. But, hey, man, you know, okay, how about you, all you folks out there? You know, of course, you guys know it. Now, actually, I do kind of like Eminem, but this song I wrote in, in, in tribute to all those white guys, you know, the white guys that, like, live out in the